So thank you very much. <laughs> So, okay, we, I think we are going to start, uh, yeah. uh, I think we talked already about the, the, the festival, we don't need to do any more, but uh, I thank, any, any, uh, thank again to all these partners and also to the, uh, and also to the sponsors. Uh, I have to say thank you to everybody and uh, also, uh, we can we can say that uh, this festival is part of Avia uh, is being part of the Jornada sul Perdo Patrimonio. Uh, um, uh, also, now we are part of the Euro Region, which is uh, which is our uh, network of festival of. Um, I think I can take this during the to talk. Um, it's a part of the network of the Andalusia e Alentejo Film Festival. Andalusia e Alentejo, no? E Alentejo. E Aldarve and Odisia Elentejo. Okay, uh, yeah, I would like, maybe we can start with the real ceremony now. Uh, yeah. Scuba. Okay, uh, so, uh, Editors present uh, today the awards uh, 2000 and, uh, 2020. Um, and we can start with the first, uh, the first award will be given to the, um, the best documentary, the best short documentary. Oh yes, I have to say something. We have six categories, it's best, uh, since last year. It's uh, best short, best medium. Uh, best short is up to 15 minutes, best, best, uh, it's up to 20 minutes. Best, short, uh, best, best medium is up to 40 minutes. Best long, it's 40 minutes upwards. And then we have uh, another two awards, which we really care about these two awards, which is the best cinematography and the best uh, story. Um, also, we have some honorable mention, but we will see later. So we, we want to start with the, with the, first, um, the first award, which is uh, done by Joana Costa. Is here, maybe she wants to come. <laughs> Uh, nice trophy and I don't know we can have a little suspense sorry we don't have music but uh, uh, we can do this I don't know and so uh, the, and the best uh, maybe you can uh, okay you can take this yeah it's one of the two maybe maybe you are the okay it's the same so, uh, it's the best uh, short movies of the 2006 uh, uh, edition is... The Girl with, with Blue Eyes from... Thank you. 
Festival, and I'm deeply honored about the experience. Big experience of making this film. Uh, I was actually based in Africa between 2012, 2019 for seven years, 
and I traveled to Zanzibar for the first time in 2014, I was struck by two things. One, the crime rate was very low compared to other parts of Africa. I was able to walk at night uh, freely and even in, able to enjoy like the seafood served on the night streets, on the, on, the, on the street markets at night. This is not possible and unbelievable in the place where I live, which is Nairobi, Kenya. Because like I think in many parts of Africa is known for the uh, high crime rate. You will be easily uh, robbed or kidnapped, especially for foreigners. But why in this island called Zanzibar, the crime rate is so low and people seem to be so stress-free? That's the first question in my mind. Second is, while I was on the island, I saw so many people from so many, di uh, I mean, so different people coming together, uh, most notably Arabs. And then we have Africans, we have Europeans, we also have Persian looking people living there. And also you will see uh, Muslim temples and also Christian churches and even Hindu temples there. So the second question coming to my mind is how do people from such different backgrounds coming together living uh, in, in apparently in peace? Uh, there's another place which is very much like it, uh, like it uh, is uh, Mauritius. Mauritius is also an island where the crime rate is also even lower and uh, we have also people from Europe, Arab and African coming together, we're living together. So Zanzibar, Mauritius, very similar. And I was, and why this is happening on islands? So those questions are in my mind for a long time. I was trying to understand the reasons behind. There, uh, as my research was going on, there's a, there's, a, there's a theory that if we put people of different races and colors and cultures together in an island, and if we put the same group of people, uh, also different group of people uh, to the mainland, the people on the island are more likely to coexist and integrate where the people on the mainland are not that in the case. Because the one theory is uh, when, when people all migrate to the, to the island, because the island is so confined, uh, surrounded by ocean. So it is not very, I, the people there believe that you shouldn't throw the other race to the ocean uh, the, by extinguishing other races and then you know you you as the only uh, race can thrive on the island but uh, instead people learn from very very uh, early time learn how to live together they have to share because the island has limited resources and uh, you just cannot kick you, you cannot kick other human beings out to the ocean so there is a gene uh, in the inhabitants of the islanders passed on generations to generations to generations that they need to learn how to live together. So I think this may be a, one of the main reasons why uh, this cultural coexistence exists in an island like Zanzibar or Mauritius. And of course there are other reasons and so this little film is an attempt to seek the answers to the, uh, the e e coexistence of uh, different ethnic groups and the religions. This is significant because as I, while I was living, uh, while I was witnessing this is happening in Zanzibar, but in the news, uh, every day in the news, you hear that uh, in other parts of the world, one religion is persecuting the other, one race is, one tribe is killing another tribe, and one, ra one race is uh, like uh, uh, also against another race. So the question in my mind is, if in the island, people of different ethnic backgrounds can manage to live together, work together and uh, integrate, can this also be learned by other parts of the world so that they are, they are less, I mean, persecution? Um, so I think the island, I call this film not 
Zanzibar, but the island, because I want to uh, show that I want to use this. The island is a, actually a micro universe that reflects the uh, the the reasons of uh, human coexistence. So I hope this uh, film this film has made uh, has uh, uh, has uh, has given some uh, reasons which uh, the audience will will get uh, in the end. And, uh, and actually, when we were filming, it is it is very interesting. Um, our filming our film crew also come very come from very diverse background. I am from China. The producer is from Namibia. The cameraman is from South Africa. Our fixer is from Zimbabwe, and our translator is from Tanzania. So I was actually uh, playing a little bit experiment at the end of the film that. You know, even the filming crew are coming from such different backgrounds. They are making a film about Zanzibar. So this is about my experience of making this film. So it, it was very pleasant uh, making this film. Uh, I think I've been speaking too long. Uh, you can cut. Uh, okay, great luck for the festival and thank you again. Thank you very much, Park Chido. I've never been there, but I love to visit because I think you really have like the kind of a taste. You're treasuring the ethnic, I mean, uh, cultural heritage, which I'm very encouraged. And uh, I'm very appreciative of your efforts in making these film festivals. Okay, great, goodbye, thank you. This humanitarian project 
is called uh, The Campfire Project, like my film, and was conceived by American actress Jessica Hathaway, who might remember uh, in acclaimed TV series uh, such as Friends uh, and Breaking Bad. The team of volunteers uh, who followed Jessica included the theatre professionals, uh, but also a school teacher and uh, a psychiatrist specializing in post-traumatic stress disorder. The issue of mental health uh, is indeed very much at the center of the project uh, and uh, it is also the core of my documentary. When we visited with Sona uh, in late July 2018, there were 900 residents from different ethnic backgrounds and regions of Africa and the Middle East. Today, the camp is home to 2,700 people and only the tribal in the last two years. Although Rizona is relatively good in terms of facilities when compared to other camps, uh, the needs uh, of vulnerable populations trapped in periods of long-term, uh, let's say, limbo, are uh, far from being met. Uh, mental health in particular doesn't seem to be a priority for the government. The camp is just one general practitioner and there is no institutional psychological support for the residents. On top of that, uh, there are very few socializing occasions uh, and virtually no entertainment, especially for the kids. Life in Arizona is uh, transitory. Uh, on any given day, the majority of the population stays inside the ISO boxes, especially women don't leave because they don't feel safe. This waiting game to build up uh, uh, their lives again easily leads to depression. The Comfort Project, as well as other organizations operating in the camp through uh, different programs.